We gotta see more than that. We gotta see more than that. I fuck. Oh, oh, my nigga boy. Oh, yeah. 2021? What the fuck happened to Crazy. Immaculate. I just felt so immersive. Yeah. Let's get into this trailer right about now. <laughs> yeah, the train. Yeah, that Thomas. <laughs> More than 40 people. At God damn. God damn. But none of them ever. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> oh, this nigga going nuts. <laughs> First time seeing the train, y'all. What's this? You know it's blood, nigga. You know it's blood. You know it's blood. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this damn gonna be a scary movie, bro. My boy! <laughs> Look at this nigga. He just looks so glorious, bro. Ren Goku. Oh my gosh, bro. Yo. We gotta see more than that. We gotta see more than that. We gotta see more than that. I fuck. Let me calm down. They might show they might show something at the end. They might show some more at the end. 2020, okay, show me another scene, please. Show me show me something else, please. 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 Bro, that is that's that you I really wanted to see more. I really wanted to see a preview of a fight fucking scene. I that don't go crazy. Don't go crazy. Don't go crazy. And let's get into this video right about now. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. That's so fucking ready, nigga. So ready. So fucking ready, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it, bro. Are you fucking hype? Get hype, nigga. Over 40 people have disappeared on this train. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of niggas, bro. That's like two classrooms. That's like two fucking classrooms, bro. Oh my fucking god. Deeper into sleep. Deep in the gym. And these niggas don't even know he on the train, boy. <laughs> I know he sensed it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Into an endless dream. Sukuyomi? <laughs> the hero of the story. With the black sword. Hmm. Ah, shit. Ain't that crazy, bro? He's on top of this truck. Oh, 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 my nigga, boy. Oh, yo, 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 yo. This nigga took that Muzan blue. Whoa, what was that? What was that? Whoa, well, don't let that be it. That's gonna piss me off. Don't let that be it. Don't let that. No, nigga. You gotta give us something else. <laughs> yeah, he's so beautiful. Oh, that's my nigga, bro. Oh, that. I need a poster of that nigga, bro. But that's fucking it. That's it. But I can just tell from the animation of the trailer. This movie gonna be nuts. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Hey, it's this train. These poor, <laughs> these poor passengers. <laughs> Lower one, in move. Oh, he got the reverse data. Oh man. <laughs> yo, yo, this movie gonna be so fucking good, bro. Oh, this nigga's going into the belly of the beast. I can't wait to see him, bro. I can't wait to see Rengoku, bro. Oh, I can't. 
Oh my god, bro. This long ass train. And Ta Tanjiro's gonna go against the. That's your bag. Yo, what the fuck is that? Yo, that's 2021? Now I'm finna go to work mad. 2021? What the fuck happened to What? Oh, I. I, I that, am I. It, am I confused, nigga? I thought that shit was supposed to come out in November. Around my birthday or some shit. Or October. Yo. Yo. I'm not gonna rage, bro. Y'all lucky. Man, motherfuckers is lucky watching this video. Cause I would rage right now. I would rage. I would rage. But the trailer looked nice, bro. That fucking demon that popped up in the middle aisle with the severe. Oh, bro, bro, bro. You know they about to get their asses killed. Oh, you know it. I can't wait to see this movie, bro. I honestly really can't wait to see this movie. The city of Townsville. But what's good, y'all? How y'all feeling today? <sighs> you see the title, man. Let's talk about this damn movie, man. Let's talk about this movie. But hold on, if you're afraid of heights, I got something for you. Sheesh, goddamn, baby. But y'all, your boy on vacation, man. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a little vacation, and I just seen the Demon Slayer movie. And I got something to say for you niggas who seen it on a website. <laughs> you just robbed yourself of the experience, motherfucker. You just robbed yourself of that, man. I went to the movies. You know, it's crazy, man. You don't get a lot of anime movies. At, at the motherfucking movies, man. So not go see this. You chose to stay at home and watch this, nigga. I feel sorry for you. Why would you do that? But this movie was so good. Regoku. Regoku. I, I almost beat on this window if I went so high up. <sighs> Damn. And I said that was going to be my favorite, nigga. And <laughs> they take them out like that? You take them out like that? You. <sighs> Damn. And he. He said he was going to make Tanjiro his Sogoku. Ooh, wait. So the only other Hashira that was like Tanjiro is dead. Nigga, what? My nigga dead. That shit was tragic. Oh, did I say spoiler warning? Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> but y'all, this animation in this movie was off the chain, nigga. Off the chain. The music, the music, the... <laughs> The effects in the movie theaters, hearing all that shit, as Rengoku is landing them hits on that nigga. Ah, oh, this nigga Akaza. You know what? I actually, if, it's so crazy because I like Akaza's character. I like his character, bro. I know he just committed one of the vilest crimes in, in anime history, but this nigga all while fighting Rengoku was trying to get him to become a demon. Oh, why Rengoku giving it his all? He yak him, yak, yak. He sent the fire tiger at him. Wow. And he's still saying, our wounds heal up, nigga. What about yours? They can be yours. Come over here, but Rengoku resolve. Just so wild, man. Damn. Y'all, our nigga dead. You want to know something? What? That's my. F I'm recording, baby. It's cool. It's cool. You want to know something? Let me tell you something. I don't need to see another Hashira. I don't need to see another one. That's my favorite. That nigga's my favorite. And when he told Tanjiro to stop yelling, he said, stop yelling. Oh, and he's the nigga who's normally talking loud, bro. I was like, yo, that's fucked up. They got us looking forward to the future with this nigga talking about all y'all gonna be my apprentices, man. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> What the fuck is the Jedi Council? What's going on? I'm like, damn, man. Then you snatch him away from us, bro. This nigga Akaza, why the fuck was he even there? Why was he there, right? The mission was complete. Dream was done. Inosuke shined like crazy. He shined in this movie, bro. You know, I know a lot of people was probably looking for Zanisha to do some crazy shit, which he did when that nigga zipped through them damn uh, trailers and shit. When he zipped through the train, Zanisha was crazy. 
And the crazy part is, Dream helped Zenitsu because when that nigga's asleep, he's a menace. He's a motherfucking menace. What would Zenitsu have done against an upper moon in that crazy form? He probably wouldn't have been ready for that. He probably wouldn't have been ready for that. Look at this. Akaza, let me switch arms. Y'all mind if I do some B-roll because my arms hurt, hurt uh, holding this big ass camera. So Akaza, man, you wanna know why I like him? I'm gonna tell you why I like him. I like him because it seems like, I don't know, was he on a recruiting spree trying to find that strong character to add to the upper room, upper moon ranks? I don't know, but I just love that it felt like he was trying to save Rengoku, you know? Felt like he was trying to save him. That's what point of view I can get from it. He, he seemed so thrilled to be fighting somebody strong. He was like an evil Goku, if you will, with that attitude, with that type of charisma he had, man. You know, I was in the movie theaters taking notes, nigga, because I knew I was gonna talk about this shit afterwards. I was taking notes. Let, let me go back to me. Man, I was taking notes. This nigga, Akaza, did some shit called, what was it, destructive atomic strike or some shit? What, it looked like some eight trigrams type shit? I'm like, yo! Martial arts master like in this nigga's fighting without a sword. He's fighting versus a swordsman without a sword going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a flame Hashira that nigga said out of all the Hashira I didn't beat. I ain't never went against the flame one crazy Crazy and that means that so since we're missing a fire hot We would have been missing a fire Hashira in the last generation because that nigga said I ain't never been against a flame Hashira, so that must mean when did Rengoku's dad stop becoming a Hashira? So, mm, or did Rengoku just go right in after his dad said, I don't feel like being a Hashira? What well, man, you not want to be one, man. That's this. This is so crazy. We got so much out of Rengoku's character in this movie. Niggas just squads his character like a lime. And so much gold came ringing out. Like, we got so much from his character in this movie, bro. Like, did you see? <laughs> did you see, bro? This nigga Tanjiro was in desperation. You see when he breathed flame? He <sighs> and he ain't that big. Come on, man. I was like, yo. This nigga Tanjiro, scary. He said, y'all niggas come out here all the time in the night, but fight us in the day. Fight us in the day. He said, you niggas only come out. He's like, imagine this nigga was talking to the firebenders and the firebenders only came out during Sozin's comment. He's like, come out when the moon out, nigga. Come out with the moon out, but in reverse, you know, it's... It's crazy. This nigga, Kaza, I was loving him on the screen. I was loving every... I know that nigga did some crazy shit, but I was loving that nigga on the screen. He just seemed very exciting. The OST that was playing during that shit, crazy. Immaculate. I just felt so immersive. Yeah, ain't no way in hell I could have watched that shit at home, man. You watch that shit at home, player? Did you watch? You watch that shit at home, didn't you? Rob yourself. I'm telling you, man. You, you stealing from your own pockets, nigga. Let me tell you something, man. This movie was so fucking good, bro. Like, Inosuke was really, the MVP is definitely Rengoku, for sure, right? Most improved player, Inosuke. Inosuke. Hey, y'all can't say wearing that mask is stupid because Dream couldn't even see where that nigga was looking. He was like, where he at? Where he at? I can't even tell that nigga to sleep. And did you see when Tanjiro was finna cut his motherfucking neck? And he was in the real world? That nigga dream was tricking him. Can you imagine the resolve? I gotta keep changing arms, man. This is a big ass camera for no fucking reason. Imagine this. You have to, in order for you to escape, you have to constantly keep, you know, yanking, yacking yourself off and shit. And Tanjiro was able to do that to keep escaping those dreams. But damn, in order for you to know you gotta do that and then do that, that's some Subaru level shit, man. You know, like, Tanjiro knows how it feels, not Subaru. He knows how it feels. But man, this nigga, he's finna yank himself off in the real world. And it, and it's like, no! That would be such a lame death! <sighs> this movie, so good. Each character had a great role. I love Nezuko's role. I I I, I love her role, you know? Uh, I love how she was able to use her demon blood art. 
and it was useful. You know, I love having Goku grab that little girl by her neck. I was like, man, you better fuck that bitch up. He better not have no sympathy on her. She just tried to end this nigga existence for a dream. Think about it. Their lives are so much shit that they just want to dream, nigga. They just want to dream. So they wouldn't commit murder just to experience a dream because their lives was total shit. But they felt like that. They felt like their lives was depressing and worth sleeping it out. <sighs> this nigga Dream was out here selling dreams. He was selling dreams to nigga. Like, he, he was selling dreams to niggas. You know, it's, it's just such a... Crazy movie, bro. This nigga Rengoku dead. This nigga's dead. <laughs> like, everybody was bawling. Everybody was crying, my nigga. Like, Inosuke crying. Tanjiro crying. Zenitsu crying. But you know, you gotta commend Inosuke for telling everybody, you know, trying to rile them up, trying to pick their spirits up, but ultimately himself also, uh, also succumbing to that emotional downpour of damn. Where Goku, you're the first Hashira that we done got real cool with besides Shinobu. Why? Why, nigga? So now what? Now what? Because, you know, this little theory I got. This little theory I got. So, Tanjiro got to fill that hole. He got to fill that Hashira position. He got to be that next fire Hashira. He got to. We going to keep Giyu as water, and then you going to be that. Because he said it's always been a fire in a water Hashira, so who the hell else going to step up? <sighs> Tanjiro, nigga, this is your... It's, it's crazy. You know, he told Tanjiro this, and then he dies, and Tanjiro knows this. He has to knowingly try and get to that level of Hashira and fill that position, nigga. Rengoku's legacy, not saying that he, Tanjiro, can build a legacy of his own, but damn, you got a part of his legacy now, bro. You got a part of that nigga's legacy. He was so strong, bro. And, you know, at some point in the movie, I was like, damn, Rengoku, you might, you might have to turn to a demon, my nigga. You just might have to do that shit because you getting fucked up and you fucking him up. But damn, he wiping the fucked up off. It's like, <clears throat> you can't do that. You can't do that. So, man, a little bit of me was like, take the deal. Take it. Do it, man. Take the deal. <laughs> the resolve, man. And that was just my selfishness of wanting that nigga to, to survive. To survive, you just know he was getting fucked up, man. The music was super intense in your ear. Boom, 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 boom. But you know, it's, it just had you on the edge of your seat like this fight. The, uh, fuck the fight with Dream. Fuck that nigga Dream. The real villain hopped on the scene. The real villain, the real actor in the movie popped up in this bitch. You know, the two stars, Rengoku and that nigga Kaza. And damn, if he was like that and he was upper three, what the mother niggas like? They still undefeated. These niggas are, what, 2016 Warriors? God damn it, they a super team. You can't beat these niggas. Yeah, they done been massacring every Hashira, but my thing is this. This, uh, this is my question, my question for the Hashiras. If you niggas been getting murdered for these niggas by, for centuries, I don't get it. You've been killed by these niggas for centuries. Why are you all traveling alone? Why? Is there not two man or three man groups? Cause you niggas can't handle them by yourselves. Y'all need to travel together. Cause they're obviously on another level. And a top three all-star popped up on the scene and just popped Rengoku. So what does that mean? What does that power scale his his level? What what does that power scale Rengoku as? I mean, hell, he went against the upper three, so that means he wasn't as strong as an upper three moon. Would he have lasted against an upper four moon? Would upper five, would he have lasted against them? Or, you know, but he was probably already fatigued though, man, you know? He was already fatigued, that nigga was powerful. He was fucking that nigga Akaza up. But damn, if Akaza could have just ran away at any moment, that nigga sacrificed his own arms. But y'all, I wouldn't have went that way if everybody was there. It, it, I don't think it would have went that way. But my serious suggestion is Hashira should travel together. Cause then there's no way an upper moon can beat y'all niggas you know, if y'all together, if y'all corner a nigga, if y'all jump a nigga, you know, we gotta start jumping these niggas, that's all. We gotta start jumping these niggas, bro. Put that on the paper, read that shit and do that. That's, that's an effect, we gotta jump them. You know, and the crow went and told them that, 
<laughs> who died, you got to see everybody's reaction. You know, the the missed Hashira, he must have a really strong emotional capacity because he didn't even show a reaction. He didn't show a reaction at all. He must be a, a very emo emotionally static character, really strong in the, in the emotional department. But damn, looking at everybody get that news, it's like, fuck. He ran into an upper moon. An upper moon hopped on the scene. One of them niggas. What type of shit is this? What type of dream team shit is this? Who can we assemble to beat these niggas? Cause they just they just taking out Hashira left and right. Wait, this shit gotta come to an end. I say they travel together. These niggas need to, need to travel together like the Akatsuki. Two pairs, two man groups, or do it like the squads and Konoha, nigga. Travel three three men, three three people together. Do something, cause one on one, they they picking y'all niggas off. <sighs> this movie was so good, bro. This movie was awesome, excellent, over the top, over the top, over the top. I just need season two. I need season two. I need season two right now. I need it now. I need it in the bag. Put it in the bag, nigga. Right now. Put it in the bag. I need it. It's. Damn, bro, this was a good ass movie, y'all. But damn, that movie was crazy, y'all. I just really need to sit in this shit and bask in the glory that was that movie.